What's up everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinema. So I was going through my hard drive and I forgot I did a review on this tripod right here. So I'm actually going to test it out for you guys as well. First we're going to jump into the review and then today I'm going to be using this. I ordered a new tripod from Adorum, Adorama, I think that's how you say it. Real good price I got, I was in the market for a new tripod, so I decided to upgrade, but I didn't wanna pay like an arm of the lake either, so did some research, I went on some forums and stuff, and coincidentally, this $80 tripod had a lot of great reviews, and it looks like one of the big boss tripods, so I'm about to unbox it and actually try it out today. So here's the tripod I ordered. Real good price for $80. I didn't want to spend too much, but this is the three pod. It's aluminum, has a fluid head. And I mean, it got some awesome reviews. Figure, man, it's only 80 bucks. Why not purchase it? Cause I got a new teleprompter I'm gonna be using. And the tripods I have right now, I have a Manfrotto and it's a little small. I needed something that actually could hold some weight. So let's unbox it right now. Comes in a good case, a cool little case. Look a little professional. Oh man, this ain't bad. This looks like something right here. Who reads instructions? I think the prettiest in boxing, but we're getting to it. Look at that. Real setup. It looks super baller. Um, I'm gonna try this bad boy out today. Let's get into the setup. You guys saw the unboxing. Let's get into the setup and I'll show you how I use it today. My subjects are the infamous Coach Rock, Coach Josh from I Love Basketball TV. 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube, so. You know, must be doing something, right? Since I'm shooting all these videos in 4K, we're using the GH5 with the Metabones speed adapter. Shouts to Coach Rock with the 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma Art Lens. This is my go-to setup. The side note, the only thing I don't like is that the autofocus on this isn't good at all. So, I mean, yeah, and they have been some hacks on it, but it still doesn't work. Well, it does for native lenses, but for the Sigma Art, it's hit or miss, so. Guess you, got, you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. This tripod also does well with a teleprompter that we have, especially good for sales videos and call of actions, just speaking into the camera. All right, I'm all set up, easy peasy. I'm gonna show you some live footage and actually put an overlay of the footage I filmed using the tripod. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rocky here, the official trend for I Love Basketball TV. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my top three crossover moves that are gonna help you destroy your defender. But before we get into that, I have a special, special gift for you. And the one move that he would do was a variation of Tim Hardaway's double crossover. So I'm sure you're familiar with Tim Hardaway's double cross. They called it the UTEP two-step. So it's here, boom, pretty much a double crossover. Tim Hardaway and Mahmoud came up into the NBA at about the same time. Now the last crossover move we're going to get into is Tony Parker's variation of the crossover. I like this crossover because it doesn't get a lot of acknowledgement because it's not the sexiest crossover. It's not really going to break ankles. So if I'm here, then I'm here. I can get a good head of steam. And I know you guys know Tony Parker's known for, he's not known for his outside game as much as he's known for getting to the basket, finishing with floaters and layups. Where he comes, he might beat his first defender here, and then he spins quickly. Or even if he doesn't beat his first defender, so say Coach Josh stays with me, I hit him with the cross, he, but I can spin around him. That's enough room to get my floater or my layup. So this is a great move. Any filmer, I don't care what type of videos you're filming, 
buy this. Even if you need multiple tripods, buy two of these. That concludes the unboxing slash review slash test of this amazing tripod. If you guys want to purchase this tripod as well, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Like I said, it's 80 bucks. I don't care if you're a videographer or filmer on a budget or if you're balling like that. Like This is definitely a very elite and plush tripod. I'm very impressed. I'm probably going to cop a few more and you know just add it to my arsenal. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, as well as tutorials, vlogs, and inspiration videos, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to go out and ignite. See ya!